On today's episode, we talk about how to build an app. What's up, Cubby here. How are you guys doing? It is the day after election day. Believe it or not, Trump is president. The damn thing is going down. I actually called it a few months ago. Uh, some colleagues were talking to me about who do I think is gonna win. I said, I think Trump's gonna win. Uh, Trump is now president. I saw some funny tweets last night. One of the best ones was Trump is president. So I guess that means that orange is the new black. <laughs> and believe it or not, the world didn't end. So. I can honestly say that we're probably gonna be okay. So many people wanna build apps and it's created a market of what I call craps. So if you don't wanna be like one of these people that builds these, then follow these tips and you will make it out okay. Tip number one is before you even build anything, go and see has anybody already built it? Now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't build it. You could probably build something better. Now there's already companies that do this. For example, there's a company called Rocket Internet. You may have heard of them. They basically build apps that are already popular in other markets. For example, they have a, a company called uh, Jumia, which is the Amazon ripoff in Africa. Kind of like when you walk through Chinatown and buy yourself a Bolex or a Ray-Bans. Forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. These apps, these companies that Rocket Internet Group make, some of them do great, some of them fail miserably, and I'm gonna help you try to avoid this. So once you've looked at, is there anybody else doing what I wanna do, then you have to think about two or three years out. Now this is difficult for most people because you're thinking about an immediate need now versus immediate needs in the future. Now it's gonna take you time to build an app, it's gonna take you maybe time to get into the market, and do this, so you gotta think about things that are a little ahead of time. A friend of mine wanted to build an app that helps guitar teachers teach their students, and they would do it through an app that you could actually exchange notes and communicate, and I thought, oh, that's great, but the future is really virtual reality. Why not do something in that regard? Why not have teacher training through virtual reality? And that's the kind of thinking that I think you have to start looking at, because if you're just looking at what's hot now, you're probably gonna lose. You have to look at the future. So if you looked at the market and you've seen, is there any apps out there that are similar to mine? Maybe you just wanna build something that's a little bit better. For example, like a game like Flappy Bird. Moment of silence for Flappy Bird, please. Ah! Step two is once you've taken a look at what's out there and you wanna go build your app, I recommend that you don't build anything. Now that might seem a little bit strange, but listen, you still don't know if you have something interesting. So stand up a website, put the idea out there, communicate it, drive some you know, traffic to the site, get some signups for a beta version. Now there's lots of people that do this and they you know, never release a beta version, but test the market first before you build anything. You can get your app on places like BetaList, which is really great for putting up something that you know, you're just testing the waters on, you're in beta on, so I recommend you do that as well. Step three, say you've done all that, you've, you've tested the waters, you've taken a look, you don't see anything else like it, or maybe you do, but you're just doing it better, and now you're actually gonna go and build it. Now you're probably thinking, I'm gonna build myself a unicorn. In my opinion, most unicorns are just magical, fantastical creatures that don't exist. There's few and far between them, but everybody talks about building a unicorn these days. For the most part, unicorns are financial instruments that VCs have created to drive up valuations for companies that have very little to no revenue. Boom! Nice. That was brilliant. Can we just put that in the episode and that's it? That being said, there's a lot of good unicorns out there, but not too many. So don't think that you're gonna go and build a unicorn. So you're gonna go out and build this motherfucker, right? Now you probably, cause you're watching this, you're not technical. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this, you'd be building your own app at this point. So what I recommend is you can do a few things. One, you can go and hire somebody from Upwork or hire a bunch of people from Upwork or Fiverr or a bunch of different freelance websites and get your app made. Now you can hire designers, you can hire UXers. Now that's gonna get pretty pricey, pretty fast. If you're smart and you have a little bit of design skill, you can actually design your own app first, download UX templates or UI templates, and then design them to fit your app, right? So a lot of people will do this, or you can hire somebody to do it if you don't know how to design yourself, or if you know some good designers, 
then get them on board, buy them dinner at a fancy restaurant and get them to design your app for you. Go into Upwork, find a good programmer, test them out, see what other projects they've done in the past, agree on a rate to actually build it and some scope and say, I want this built, these times, these days, it's gonna take this much and get your app built. Now you might be saying, Cubby, that's fine, but I am broke as shit. I can't hire somebody to build my app for me. I get that, I've been there. Then you need to take a different approach. You need to go to startup events, you need to go to tech events, conferences, meetups, and meet founders and technical people in the startup space. Make friends. Get into that community and find a co-founder, a technical co-founder. Now, chances are they're probably involved in their own app or they're doing their own ideas, and that's fine. You have to understand that, but you have to persuade them to do your app as well. This is super tricky because they probably don't give a shit about your app and your idea. The reality is you're gonna have to offer them something in, in your company, and you know, forget the fucking NDA. So many people are like, oh, I'm gonna tell you my app idea, but I wanna first get you to sign this NDA. Come on, man, like, just tell me. Your idea can't be that so fucking special that you can't just tell me what the idea is. And the truth is, it's all about execution anyway, so ideas are kinda crap. Unless you can actually execute them, it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry if I fucked up the list there. That's just the way it's gonna be today. Once you found your co-founder or you found somebody on Upwork to help you, now you have to build and that might take a little while depending on how complicated the app is, but pay special attention to the costs and what you're doing. Make sure you have milestones, make sure you're meeting them and make sure you're coming, you're coming, make sure you're coming just all the time. That's a good, uh... <laughs> uh. number four, is release the app. Get it out on the market. Get it out to everybody and anybody you know. Email everybody, Facebook, everybody. I know this sounds like you're spamming people and it might be, but the problem is is that most people release a new business and they don't tell anybody about it. They don't get the word out. Get your app on Product Hunt, get it on all the startup pages, try to drive some press on it, make some relationships with press, journalists, Try to get on the radar as far as what is your app doing. Try to find an angle. You sometimes have to have an angle into why your app makes sense or what's interesting about it. Drum up controversy. Controversy is king when it comes to the media. Half the battle is promotion. You have to get it out there. Thank you so much for your support. I love all you people. I would definitely swipe right on at least half of you. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you've built an app or you're building an app or you wanna build an app, comment below. I'd love to support you and send you some love out there on social media. So hit me up in the comments below. And once again, my name is Cubby. Thanks for watching. Adios, amigos. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> uh, they, they can see, they can see I don't have an audience. Some of you are ugly motherfuckers. No. <laughs> I've seen you in the comments. Some of you are ugly, no. Please download. <laughs> what, please download what?